What is going on guys? Hope you're having a fantastic Thanksgiving. Today is Thanksgiving and I know I haven't made a video in a good minute, but I've been trying to get the bread and everything. But uh, I have a special video for today. We're gonna do a squirrel catch, clean, and cook. But it's actually gonna be a hunt, clean, and cook. So I'm gonna shoot it, then I'm gonna skin it, and then I'm gonna cook it for y'all, how I like to cook it. But uh, just let's jump right into the video. I gotta go to the ranch right now. Y'all always know I'm already always on going to the ranch. I gotta go check some deer cams. A lot of deer going over there right now, but uh, we're just gonna we're gonna go over there. We're gonna check the deer feeders. We're gonna check the deer cams. We're gonna make sure everything's doing good. We're gonna throw some corn on the ground, some doe urine. We're gonna make some scrapes, and uh, just hope y'all enjoy the video. We're gonna make this is gonna be a uh, this is gonna be a different cash clean cook. I know I've made one before, but this is actually its own video on actually how to skin it and how to uh, cook it. But, Cause I got a better camera now, and y'all already know that. And I got, uh, you know, yeah. Just enjoy the video, and we will see y'all when we are out there. All right, guys, we are at the ranch right now, and I'm gonna answer some questions that some people probably have. And if y'all can't see me, I'm sorry, cause the sun is back there, and I'm walking this way. But uh, just hear me. So y'all probably ask, why do you go out to that ranch so much? Like why? Cause why do you why do you do so much out there? Well, because I gotta keep everything in check. If I don't keep everything in check, the hogs will get out of line, the coyotes will get out of line, everything will get out of line. And coming out here and filling the deer feeders, it keeps the hogs from rooting up my grandfather's fields and just keeps them from doing, just tearing the stuff up. But at the same time, we are harvesting these animals and we are eating them and like, they come out here all the time, every, they come out here daily and nightly, and it keeps them from rooting up my grandfather's fields. Now, they still do it, of course, but, like, they don't do it as, like, much as they would. But let me just show y'all, look. Y'all don't want this to happen in y'all's fields. Probably might not, not look like much to y'all, but, like, right here, that's rooting up right there. That's all rooting. I do want to go deer hunting this weekend, so I'm going to sprinkle some doe urine, and I'm going to show you what I'm going to do. It's just hard because I'm self record. Alright guys, and that is all you do. Change the deer cams just now. We're going to go home, look at these photos, and do the squirrel catch, clean, and cook. I hope y'all joined the video so far, and I hope y'all understand why I make these videos, but like, why I involve the ranch so much. If I didn't have this ranch, I wouldn't have a YouTube channel. If I didn't have this ranch wouldn't have a YouTube channel just because it wouldn't be about anything I couldn't go hunting anywhere I couldn't couldn't do everything I do now and huh, like the alligator hunt that I could have done but like that was something exotic and crazy I cannot believe I was able to go on that hunt and I do plan on going on a axis deer hunt which seems really exciting to be honest I've always wanted to go on an axis deer hunt never skinned one pretty sure it's like skinning a deer but you already know I'm gonna make I'm gonna show you how to how to trophy skin a deer how to skin a regular deer just regularly how to cook a deer and how to hunt a deer but um skin this truck I gotta go visit my grandfather for Thanksgiving hope y'all are having a fantastic Thanksgiving I love y'all and I really appreciate y'all but I will see y'all later all right, guys. I'm fixing to go to work, but we it just got done drizzling, so the nuts are all on the ground and everything. And there should be a squirrel. I think I just saw one. Yeah, they're everywhere, guys. I see them right now. We're gonna go over there. We're gonna shoot one, and then we'll skin it up later and cook it. All right. But let me get y'all on the tripod and uh, try and get the best footage. Oh my gosh, guys, finally. It has been four days and I haven't been able to see a squirrel. I see a small one. I've actually been able to see them. I just, it's hard to get this on camera. I finally understand, guys, it is hard. They know. Gosh, and then my dogs don't help. But I got him, I don't think I got him on video. I hit him in the, uh, I hit him in the, um, in the shoulder. Then he ran a few feet. 
and then I hit him again in the head. But let's go look at him. Let's go take a look. I I just got home from school. Literally just got home. Oh gosh, it is about freaking time. Ready? Where's he at, Trigger? Where's he at? Where's he at? Perfect headshot, by the way, guys. All right, come on. Where's he at? Where's he at? Get him, Trigger. Bring him here. Bring him here. Go, boy. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Drop him. Move. So let me talk to you for a second. I may look orange, but that's because the sun is right in my eyes. Okay, so I clipped his skin the first time, but he moved. It is not my fault. I didn't aim up the gun. It's an inch to the left, so I moved to the right, clipped his leg, went through the skin, did not hit no meat or bone, just went through the skin. Like, I don't know how that, I don't know how that happens, but it happens. So, he runs, he runs along this tree, stops, gives me a second shot. Clipped him in the arm, just like I told you. I knew I heard him, get down, Yeller, get down. I knew I heard him because he like, Stood there and like moved for a second. Hey, shh, calm down, stop it. Then he ran over here, ran in this tree, gave me one headshot. That's it. All I had was that little pellet in my mouth. I clipped, I, I stood right here, stood right here. He was right there. It was there's the enter wound, like I said, right in the brain. And here, where does it exit? It exit out, it exits out the shoulder. I guess it did some like turns in the inside the body, but enter in there. So it was a hollow point pellet, 22 caliber, so it does do some damage. So, um, what was I gonna say? Anyways, so when it goes in there, it like opens up and pushes more damage, more, you know, more damage, better better chance of killing it. But um. Let's get to skinning him. I'm going to show out the easy way as fast as I can. I don't want to make this video too long for y'all. I know my, most of my videos are long. I don't want to do that to y'all, so. Right, let me figure out why. Here we go. All right. Over here, you're going to go above it. The regular kitchen knife, regular kitchen fillet knife. You're going to make a slice. You're going to get through the tail. If I can get through the tail. There we go. I'm gonna try and open up the sides a little bit more. That's all you gotta do. Now, what you're gonna do is you're gonna step on, move, Trigger, so they can see. Move. Trigger, you're actually in the main, okay, come here. Over here, come here. Get over here. Good. You're gonna step on this part and pull the legs up. All right, let me show y'all. It might not work because I don't have shoes on, but we'll, we will actually try. All right. Step in the main joint. Pull up. There we go. Just like that, guys. I just, I just dressed this whole body. All right. That is what the squirrel looks like, guys. All dressed out. The hind legs. Now what we do is we cut down right here. We cut down. Pull all that out. And I wanted to show y'all in the armpits. So you see the armpit? I don't know if y'all can see that. Right there, that thing right there. You need to get that out, right? But we're going to go ahead and gut it. We're going to go ahead and gut this. I'm not going to show it on camera. Um, we're going to throw in some water and some ice with a little bit of salt. And I'm going to go drop my brother off and we'll come home and I'll cook it. But uh, let me gut this out real quick. Hope y'all enjoying the video. Stay tuned. If you haven't already subscribed, subscribe because we have a lot more videos coming out. Just found out I might go on an Axis deer hunt once in a lifetime thing, guys. So thankful. And I know for a fact we are going on a duck hunting trip in January. Cannot wait. But let me gut this guy real quick and we will see y'all when we get back. Alright guys, we're in the kitchen right now and... I have everything right here. It's been salt. It's been in this for probably about an hour. All I did was put salt, ice, and water. Now, I usually, you want to leave it in there a little longer, but I'm gonna make this video so it can be published today. So 
I showed y'all how to grill it, now I'm going to show y'all how to fry it. Now all you need is, where is it? This will work. Just regular pan. If the lighting is not the best, I'm sorry, I'm getting one of those ring things, so when I'm in the house it's better quality, better everything in it, so bear with me. What y'all want to do is, is y'all want to get some towels and dry them off all the way. Dry them off. That's very important. So get some paper towels and just pat them dry. Cleaning your legs and everything. We're going to put our olive oil in. Now these are the seasonings we're going to be using, Everglades Original and Uncle Chris. We're going to season one side with Everglades and then we're going to flip them over and season the other side with Uncle Chris's. Just like that. Once you get your cup of flour, you're going to put it in a Ziploc bag. And uh, it depends on how much squirrel you have. You might need a bigger bag to get more squirrel. And I do recommend y'all go outside and do this if y'all can. In Texas, we don't have no limit or season. We're going to drop one in there. Close it up. With the seasoning and everything, and just shake it around. And then... We're going to set it in the oil. Alright guys, we're going to go ahead and flip them right now. Hold on, I need you to come try this. You know what I'm Yeah. Come on, teeth of steel, man. Not a tongue of steel. You just been deeper. Just bite the piece that you've been biting. I want to get the lemon pepper and stuff. Oh, the crust and it's not lemon pepper. <laughs> yeah, it's good. No, you gotta tell the viewers what it tastes like. Does it taste? Give some spice to it. Yes, I taste the herbs. Yes, I taste. It tastes like a game. Tastes like it smells like a squirrel. Right, I'm gonna taste another bite because I, I forgot what it tastes like. This is messed up. It's gonna be hot. Is it cooked all the way? Should be. Is it? Oh yeah. Could have cooked it a little longer, but I'm on a time crunch. Alright, so it's not a gamey flavor. You can really taste the uh the uh, seasonings. It tastes really tasty and uh not salty but like flavorfully. Alright guys, it is the end of the video. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed making it. I gotta finish editing it so it can be put out today. I got school right now, but I'm gonna try and finish editing it before school. But um if y'all want to see this video again, let me know in the comments. Say, Damien, I really enjoyed this video. This is what you did wrong. I was wondering if you could do this. Can you do this? Whatever y'all want me to do, I will do it. Um, remember D101? This one's for you, buddy. Gosh, it's cold out here. Can you see my smoke? Look. Maybe not. Anyways, um, I'm going to leave my channel here, my videos here. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. I love y'all, and thank y'all so much for supporting me. Take life slow and enjoy it.